Have you ever... Ever what? Had... Done... Done what? You know. Had done... You know? Oh, you know. Oh. Well, have you? No. I haven't. It's awful. It's supposed to be so nice. So special. Well, maybe it is for men. It's awful, huh? It's just like being pounded to death in just the most private place. I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm sorry it's that way for you. But you know, I've had more than one woman tell me the exact same thing. You're not alone. Just, I hate it so much. I mean, he's finally given up forcing me, but he's mad about it all the time. He holds it over my head. <sighs> How can anybody like doing that? It's so humiliating, and it hurts. How hard for you. See what I didn't want to tell you? Don't be ashamed, Gertie. Do not be ashamed. But I'm supposed to do it. It says so everywhere. And Tom even talked to Reverend Crate about it. Oh, and what did Cecil have to say? that Tom has a right to it whenever he wants. He told him he has every right to force me. Oh, that little son of a bitch. I'm glad Eli didn't hear that. He never let me live that down. Go on. It's just, someone ought to warn you, you know? I was just crazy about Tom when I married him. You had such a nice wedding, and, and you made such a pretty cake. <laughs> Daddy was still alive. Tom looked so nice in his suit. Hey, I, I was happy to marry him. I was, I just I had no idea what came with it. I would have stayed single. I would have. Your mother never... <sighs> you know how bad her nerves were. And I think Daddy used to visit a woman in town. Maybe that's what Tom ought to do. Myrtle! I know, I know. Bernadette's not the only one in here who's a little too blunt at times. I just... I thought we'd kiss, you know, like in the movies. Gertie, you grew up on a farm. Didn't you ever come out of the house? When they'd let the bull out, I'd run to my room and cover my ears. I guess maybe I should have watched. Gertie? Have you ever considered divorce? Myrtle! Sometimes it's for the best. It's not Christian. My mother divorced my father. Well, he was adultering. Look. God doesn't make mistakes, but people do, and they shouldn't have to suffer their entire lives for something that they did when they were young. Seventeen. Mm -hmm. I was seventeen. You know. On our wedding night, I kept trying to roll away. And he kept pulling at my nightgown until he had torn it. He held my arms down. He used his knees to get my legs apart. And then he just did it. And it went on and on, and I, I couldn't breathe. 
and he just laid there on top of me and I thought I was going to suffocate. And it went on and on and it felt like it went on forever. He says that means he's good. Mm. And no matter what I say, that means he's good. said he knew he'd be the first. Then, then he just went to sleep. He went to sleep in all of that. And I had to lay there with his leg across me. I had to lay there till morning when all I wanted in the world was to wash. If you can't stand it, you shouldn't have to stand it. And if Tom needs it so bad, he shouldn't be able to go remarry some woman who likes doing it. But how could they? Well, I believe some do. And you know, despite what he says, he may just not be any good. Myrtle, look! Look, there are some real advantages to not having a steady church. I just feel like I'm a lot freer to say whatever I feel. And what I really feel doesn't always fall within the narrow bounds of this county. It's your life, Gertie. But don't go and throw it away just because you're worried about what people might think. I'm worried what God must think. I'll ask him. Do you really talk to God? All the time. All the time. And he always listens. He may not always like my point of view. But he always listens. I couldn't leave Tom. Well, honey, you suit yourself. I, I just wish I liked it. <laughs> 